Hello everybody, I'm Pixeled Monk, and welcome to an old school RuneScape quest guide for A Taste of Hope. This quest is experience difficulty and will take about an hour to complete. The requirements are 48 crafting, 45 agility, 40 attack, 40 herb lore, 38 slayer, darkness of Hallowvale, in aid of the Myrkey, in search of the Myrkey, nature spirit, priest in peril, and the restless ghost quest. It is also recommended that you have 43 prayer and have completed Shades of Morton for the minigame teleport. In your worn equipment, it's recommended that you have weight reducing gear now, but keep magic gear and melee gear in the bank for later in the quest. In your inventory, you will need a thousand coins, emerald, chisel, three air runes, a cosmic rune, these runes will not be needed if you're using an Enchant Emerald or Jade Tablet. Pestle and Mortar, Vial of Water, Pickaxe, and a Rod of Ivendis, or a Sapphire, Mithril Bar, Silver Bar, Rod Clay Mold or Soft Clay, a Cosmic Rune, a Water Rune, and a Rope. These items you can keep in the bank, and the Rod of Ivendis can be obtained later on in the quest. It is also recommended that you have Stamina Potions or an Explorer's Ring. You can also keep high healing food, a super restore potion, super combat potion, and prayer potions in the bank for now. Now there are two different methods in which you can travel during this quest, which will determine what items you'll need to bring. First method, you'll need teleports to Bergday Rot using Moritania Lakes 3 or 4, Morton teleports, or Baros teleports. Use any of these and walk to the south side of Bergday Rot to the small dock with the boat. Board the boat and it'll take you to Mire Ditch. Jump onto the rock to the north and climb up the next rock. Run to the west and you'll see some planks that have fallen down. Right click to select them and climb down the floor. Run north slightly and climb over the wall rubble. You are now in Mire Ditch. Enter the theater of blood northeast of you. The second method. You'll need an ectophile and at least 50,000 coins. If you're using this method, you will also need to bring at least one teleport to Berg de Rot unless you have completed the quest Shades of Morton. Travel to the Ectophuntus and walk north to the docks. Travel with Andres to Slep for 10,000 coins. Walk south and you'll be in the Theater of Blood. During this quest, you'll have to fight the Abomination, level 149, in an instance room. For Virewatch, level 87, and Rannis Draken, level 233. There are maps linked in the description below if you need extra help. Before we start the quest, it's important to mention that while you're in Mire Ditch, a Virewatch may stop you several times. If it does, a few options will appear. If you have a high thieving level, you can try and distract it to get away, or give a blood tithe for 6 hit points. There is also a bank that you can use at any time in the Theater of Blood. To start the quest, you'll need to travel to the Theater of Blood. Use one of the methods described earlier to get there. Speak to Garth, who is just to the east. Say yes, please, and there will be a cutscene. Now you'll need to go to the Myrkey base. You'll have to come here several times during the quest. Exit the Theater of Blood and walk south. Stand by a wire watch to try and get noticed. If after 30 seconds one hasn't spotted you, try hopping worlds. Once noticed, say, 
Send me to the mines, do a bit of menial work. You'll be teleported to the mines. Mine 15 daily ores, the blue rocks on the walls, and place them into the minecart. Once the minecart is full, speak to one of the vampire juvenates to leave the mine. Run south until you reach a door. Go through the three doors until you come across a ladder. Climb the ladder. To the east will be a gap in the floor. Right click on the floorboards across the gap and select jump. Go down the stairs to the east. Walk south and right click on the wall in front of you. Select push. Face your camera north and walk in front of the wall with the scythe. Right click on it and select press. The southeast corner of the rug will pop up. Click on it to open a trap door and go down the trap door. You are now in the Meyer Key base. Run to the north side of the base and speak to Sophilon. He tells you to return to the Theater of Blood to spy. Go back to the Theater of Blood. Either travel back to Burgday Rot and take the boat, or take the boat from the Ecto Funtus. This is your last chance to bank before the fight with the Abomination in an instanced room, so bring gear, a magic weapon, plenty of high healing food, and a super restore potion. The Abomination attacks you with melee in ranged with a max hit of 12 and is weak to magic. He also can launch a projectile at you which will drain your stats by 2. You can use protect from missiles to avoid taking some damage. Remember this is an instance fight, only bring items that you are willing to lose. You can bank your graceful gear for now if you need the space. Try to climb up the rubble pile to the south of the bank. A fire watch will stop you. Speak to Harpert, who is nearby. Say, fine, here's the money. You'll give him a thousand coins. Try to climb the rubble again and you will go up. While you're up here, be careful of the vents that sometimes blow out hot steam. 
If you're hit by one of these, it can deal 15 to 20 damage and knock you down, so never stand directly in front of one. Point your camera to the north and run next to the vent. When the steam goes away, click on the vent to climb it. Run north. This time click near the edge of the floor and jump off the roof. Be sure to get out of the vent's way immediately. Run to the north and climb another vent. Run east and climb up the roof. Continue east and climb down the roof. Run east and then south to the red window. Click on the window for a cutscene. Now you'll need to return to the Myrky base, so you have to get noticed by a fire watch again. You can run around the castle to the front of the Theater of Blood if you're low on teleports, teleport back to Burg de Rot and take the boat to Mire Ditch, or use the boat at Ecto Funtis. Go back to the mines and put 15 daily yacht ore into the minecart. Talk to the vampire juvenate to exit and run south towards the base. Enter the base and speak to Sophalon. Say, I do. Talk to Flaggy and Scruti, who is one of the other people in this room. Say I didn't know the vampires had their own language and why. Speak to Safwan again. Exit the base using the ladder to the south, the one you came in here with. Push the wall to exit the base and climb up the stairs. Jump to the floorboards to the west and climb down the ladder.
run north through the three doors. Run west to a broken fountain. Enter the house south of the fountain and go down the stairs. Talk to Sophlon. Search the crate to the west to find mysterious meat, and the barrel to the east to find a mysterious herb. Add the herb to your vial of water to make an unfinished potion. Crush the meat using the pestle and mortar and use it on the unfinished potion. Use the finished potion on the door to the north. Select yes. Talk to Sophilon again and select yes. He will give you a vial of blood. Collect another mysterious meat and mysterious herb from the crate and barrel. Again, use the herb and the crushed meat on the vial. Use this potion on the door and select yes. Open the door and search the chest to receive old notes. Talk to Sophilon and select Here You Go to give him the notes. Exit the house and go back to the Meyer Key base. As you're entering the base this time, you will have to fight the Abomination in an instance room. The game will warn you that if you die down here, you will lose all of your items. When ready, select yes. Talk to Sophlon to the north. There will be a cutscene and the fight will begin. Defeat the Abomination. Once killed, you'll have to go to Old Man Ral's house. 
You can do so by using a Bergdorot teleport and taking the boat to Meyer Ditch, or using the boat from the Ecto Funtus. If standing on the southern side of Meyer Ditch, walk north to a house with three rooms. Enter the room to the north and use the trap door to climb down. Talk to Softlawn. Speak to Vertita nearby. He will give you notes. Read the notes. Search the open crate to the northwest and south to find a silver sickle blessed and a chain. Use the Emerald on the Sickle to make an Emerald Sickle Blessed. Cast level 2 Enchant on the Emerald Sickle or use an Enchant Emerald or Jade Tablet on it. If you already have the Rod of Ivendis with you, use the Chain on the Emerald Sickle to create an Ivendis Flail. If not, you'll need to travel to Berg de Rot. Go to the bank and grab your sapphire, mithril bar, silver bar, rod clay mold or soft clay, a cosmic rune, a water rune, and a rope. Speak to Vilyaf Hertz, who is located underneath the pub, and he will give you a new rod. Use a chain on the Emerald Sickle to make an Ivan Dis Flail. Return to Meyer Ditch and talk to Sophilon underneath Old Man Rawl's house again. Exit the base and go to the Theater of Blood Bank. The next part of the quest is where you will fight the final boss, Rainus Draken, and four Firewatch. He can only be defeated using the Ivan Dis Flail. He will attack you using melee and magic that can hit up to 20. He can also cast Blood Barrage and heal himself for half damage. He sometimes will charge you and explode, hitting up to 30. You can run away as he does this to avoid damage. Once he reaches 75% health, he will summon two level 87 Firewatch and fly away. Kill the Firewatch, but watch out as Rannis will throw bombs at you, hitting up to 40 in a 3x3 area, so be sure to run away as soon as he throws it. 
These bombs can be used to your advantage as they can hurt the Virewatch. Once the Virewatch are dead, Rannis will fly down and you can fight him again until he reaches 25% health. He will then summon two more Virewatch just as before. Again, watch out for the bombs. After they are dead, you'll be able to fight Rannis again. This time, you use Protect from Melee and you should defeat him pretty quick. If at any time you need to leave the fight, you can right click on a Mire Ditch citizen nearby to leave. If you do die here, your items can be found from the chest located northwest of the notice board. Gear up with melee gear and the Ivan Dis Flail. Also bring with you prayer potions, a combat potion, and lots of high healing food. When you're ready for the fight, talk to Kale Forshaw, who is standing near the notice board. Say I'm ready, and the fight will begin. Once Rainus is defeated, there will be a cutscene. Return to Softlawn underneath Old Man Rawl's house. There will be another cutscene and the quest will be complete. Congratulations, you've completed the quest. Your rewards are one quest point, Ivan Disflail, Draken's Medallion, which can teleport you to the Theater of Blood, and a Tome of Experience, which can be used to grant 2500 XP and any three skills above level 35. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, and if you want to watch more quest guides, please subscribe. See you next time.